Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to explain what's meant by potential difference. You should then be able to describe how we can measure potential difference and finally you should be able to describe potential difference in series circuits. So far we've had a good look at electric current and you should remember that electric current is simply a flow of electrons around a circuit. So in this circuit the electrons move out of the cell, make their way through the wire, pass through the lamp and then return back to the cell. Now the lamp lights up and that's because the electrons are giving the lamp energy. So let's take a look at the energy transfers involved. The cell has a store of chemical energy. This is transferred to electrical energy and that's carried by the electrons passing out of the cell. When the electrons pass through the components such as the lamp, the electrical energy is then transferred to other forms of energy. In the case of a lamp, this is light energy and thermal energy. So energy is transferred in electrical circuits. We can explain this using the idea of potential difference. This is also called voltage and you can use either expression in the exams. A potential difference of one volt tells us that one joule of energy is transferred for each coulomb of charge that's moving through the circuit. We measure potential difference using a voltmeter. I'm showing the symbol for a voltmeter here and it's important that you learn this. So here's a simple electric circuit and I'm going to measure the potential difference of the cell using a voltmeter. To do that I place the voltmeter across the cell like this. In this case the voltmeter is giving us a reading of 9 volts. This is telling us that the electrons are transferring 9 joules of energy per coulomb of charge. Now we can also use a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the lamp and I'm doing that here. The potential difference across the lamp is also 9 volts. So can you see that all of the electrical energy carried by the electric current is transferred to light energy and thermal energy in the lamp? Okay, so I hope you're getting the idea that potential difference is actually fairly straightforward. It simply tells us how energy is transferred in an electrical circuit. Okay, this shows a circuit with two lamps in series. We're going to explore the potential difference in circuits like this. As you can see, the potential difference across the cell is still 9 volts. This tells us that the total energy transfer in this circuit is the same as the last circuit. Now one key feature of this circuit is that both lamps are now dimmer than the single lamp in the previous circuit. We can explain this by measuring the potential difference across the lamps like this. This tells us that the potential difference across each lamp is 4.5 volts. So you can see that the total energy carried by the current has now been shared between the two lamps. And that explains why both lamps are dimmer than when we only had one lamp. If I've only got one lamp, then all of the energy carried by the current is transferred to that one lamp, so it's bright. But when I've got two lamps in series, the energy is shared between the lamps, so they're each dimmer. Now in this circuit, I've made the two lamps identical, but they don't have to be. In this circuit, I've got two different lamps. This lamp has a potential difference of 6 volts, whereas this one has a potential difference of 3 volts. But the key point is that the total potential difference across both lamps is the same as the potential difference across the cell. So to recap, the cell has a potential difference of 9 volts, which means that 9 joules of energy are transferred for every coulomb of charge. This energy is shared between the two lamps. The lamp with a potential difference of 6 volts will be brighter as it's transferring more energy than the lamp with a potential difference of 3 volts. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on potential difference in series circuits in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to explain what's meant by potential difference. You should then be able to describe how we can measure potential difference and finally you should be able to describe potential difference in series circuits. Mm -hmm.